Okay, I am going to run through a game of personal space. Um, I'm going to try my best because my phone is being used to record this, so I can't access any of the stuff I need. Um, so some of it I will just simulate because I, I kind of know what, what will happen. Um, or I can pause and do it and come back to it. But anyway, I'm going to run through a game. Uh, I'm going to talk through it probably pretty slowly. Um, I have printed sheets, although the uh, rules are all online because they're going to get updated with all the new content all the time. So here we go. I'm going to start. Uh, your game, your day consists of a series of turns. Each turn you're going to take an action. So you're going to do something. Uh, handle any upkeep, which is on these two stats right here. Uh, and end your turn by logging your action on the action log. So to take an action, there's many you can take. Initially, the list is fairly limited, but it's going to grow over time. You're going to draw the required shape on your daily grid, which is this area right here. Um, you're going to fill in the shape with the required letters. Every action has a certain letter that, that it uses. And then you carry out the action. So, uh, one of the actions you can do is move along the map. So you start out at your house, you can move to other spaces. Another action you can do is work your job. So if you're at your job, you can work your job. Um, another one, these are just like kind of your main actions. Visit your neighbors. So you, if you're at any space on your neighbor's range, which my neighbor Bitsy, her range is, this is her house. And then all of these surrounding spaces um, she could pop up at. Uh, these ones down here, she won't. Thankfully, her house is in this corner, which means I've got these four spaces to work with. Sorry, off the camera. Um, so if I'm at the pond, she might pop up there before I go to the pond, which is interesting uh, that I'm gonna have to check for that every time I go to the pond to see if Bitsy pops up and kind of distracts me or, or actually helps me out in some way. But these other spaces, she can pop up as well, but she's much more likely to pop up at that space. All neighbors are a little different. Uh, Cloud Razzle, who's an expansion neighbor, for example, will only pop up at her house. Um, and it's hard to see her there. Oh, sorry. I uh, was incorrect with Bitsy. Bitsy is harder to find at her house and easier to find around, which is good that her house is tucked away in the corner because I'm not going to have to go there often. Um, and then another one... Uh, Candy Bitterwort, expansion neighbor. She's very likely to be at her house, but nowhere else. So they all have a little bit of a variety there. Uh, oh, I have some right here, let's see. Uh, Arnie Ritter, who is not one of my neighbors, uh, but he's just anywhere. He's all surrounding his house, he's available. So there's a ton of them. Uh, they're all a little bit differently. Uh, but what you can do is you can visit your neighbor and you're gonna interact with them by uh, scanning their QR code and uh, Seeing what happens, uh, you can work your job, visit your neighbor, and uh, there's a couple other feature, uh, generate resources. So you're gonna go to your resource generator and kind of work through your generate resources. Uh, other things you can do, you can go to the internet, you can go to the rocket ship, which takes you to another, to a side moon, and then other things that are gonna come up during the day. Um, so let's get into it. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just buy. I think I already lost my token card though. Where did I put that? There it is. Okay, so I start out at my house. I am going to take an action. My first action, uh, my job is required Monday through Friday. Um, each job uh, has a set of days that it's required and it has a set of um, markings that you have to do on your grid in order to uh, perform your job. So mine needs eight that are connected, which is like, you know, a group of eight in any fashion that can be connected in any way, just adjacently connected. Uh, but I need to um, do that early before my sheet starts filling up. So I think I'm gonna go to my job. My job is right next door to my house. So it's a movement of one. My maximum move is six plus one. So I can move anywhere without affecting my value. Uh, so I'm gonna move one and I will start by drawing my movement right there. So your movement is where you started, where you finished. So this is just a two square movement. 
kind of like a little polyomino, you know, Tetris style block. I could make that anywhere. I can make it here up and down. You can rotate the shape that you moved in and turn it here. You just can't invert it. So if I did this L like this, I couldn't flip it over to, to uh, um, I guess an L isn't a good, uh, some sort of zigzag or something. Um, anyway, um, I move from here to here. What you do there is I'm going to put M's in there because M is for movement. And there's a list of all of them as well as a spreadsheet coming that you can kind of refer to all the time. But an action move is move from one space to another. The timing is it's an action. It's a whole new action. It doesn't count as part of a different one. Uh, you draw your grid shape, which is the movement on the map. You fill it with M's. You move your token, your character to the destination and you log a new entry. So my entry, I put M there so I know that on turn one I moved. And then I'm going to write, um, you know, walked uh, to work. You can get as specific as you want there. You can be as, uh, you could just write M moved, you know, to, you can write move to 1-6 or whatever you want. I'm just going to write walk to work. One of the things you can do during movement is explore. And explore can get you some money rewards at the end of the day. Um, and how you explore, I'm going to show you um, real quick. I'm going to read it from here just so my phrasing matches uh, the rules. So to explore. During movement, you can look for treasure. Uh, you roll two dice. I'm not doing this. No, I will do it. I'll do it just to show. I wouldn't do it because it's only a tiny movement. It's hard to do. If you move really far, it's easier to find stuff while you walk. But I'm going to do it anyway just to show you. During movement, look for treasure. Roll two dice for grid coordinates and see if they match uh, any treasures. So these dice are going to match up to my spaces here that I filled in on the map. I'm not going to fill in, I'm not going to match this. Uh, I'm sorry, filled in on the grid. They're not going to match these two spaces here, which are like five and six in the one, two column. I'm trying to match any of the ones I filled in on my grid. So I roll the dice. I got one and five, which one, five would be this space or one, five would be this space. So neither match that. Um, so I don't find anything during my exploration. But if I did find something, for example, if I rolled a one, two, which would be this space, I'd circle my M and update my um, turns action that I, you know, uh, I found I found something while, while uh, walking. I explored and it was successful. But instead, I got this one five. So I explored and failed. So what that means is one five, here, or 5, 1 here, needs to be marked on the map with an X, because that represents a failed exploration. Um, that space is used, I can't use it anymore. I'd actually put a square around it so I could tell that it was used. Um, but I failed my exploration, so that stinks. Um, there's a lottery at the end of the day for everything that you were able to circle. Uh, and today's lottery, which you can look up, is any, I believe it's any two in a row or column gives you $2 at the end of the day. So if this one was circled and another one was circled, and then any two that are completely adjacent to each other give you $5 at the end of the day. Uh, so it could pay out really well if you do it. And that, that, fl that fluctuates every day, or not every day, but it, it does change over time. So anyway, I walked to work, I explored, and I failed. Now I'm at my job. So my action is going to be, I'm going to perform my job. I need to uh, fill it out on here, which is, um, I'm trying to use the actual, the, the game terms so I don't mess this up because uh, I'm going to take my action, uh, handle any upkeep, and end your turn by using the action lock. So I'm going to take my action, which is work my job. So it's W. They need to be connected and I need to make eight of them. So I'm going to I'm going to start here. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, and one, two, nope, that one's not connected. One, two, three, four, five, six, those are all connected. They're gonna get W's for work. I'm gonna work my job. Each job has a different number and a different way that they, sometimes they're connected, sometimes they're in, they must be in a row or column, sometimes they can be anywhere, so I could have a W, W, W. Um, this job kind of stinks because it, it's a hog. It's a time, this is essentially time, it's a time hog. Um, so, take my action. Oh, sorry. End of last turn, there was upkeep. My mood, I walked to work, I explored and I failed. My mood can change by zero uh, or one, up or down. Uh, since I explored and failed, um, let's say that I'm gonna knock my mood down by one, which puts it at a three. Your mood is determined on your character. So I'm either happy or I'm feeling guilty. Happy is when you're at four above, Three or less, I'm starting to feel guilty. At six, you're at your happiest. At one, you're at your guiltiest. So right now, my mood is three. I'm just at the top of guilty. So that's how I'm kind of going into my job. I'm feeling a little guilty. Maybe it's for uh, trying to explore as I went to my job. It doesn't feel great. Uh, that's totally subjective. You adjust to the after each turn. Uh, it'll impact some things throughout some games. Here we go. I'm at my job. I'm ready to balance a spreadsheet. Okay. I'm going to do some zooming in just for these different parts, just so you can kind of see everything. Balance a spreadsheet. Okay. So to do your job, uh, it's required on the days that it's open, Monday through Friday, so it's required. Uh, I need a uh, time cost. I filled out my time cost. Then... Uh, you need your job postcard. You need a yellow cube, a purple cube, a cube of any color. So let's grab a yellow, put it on the yellow cube start. Purple there, and a cube of any color. We'll do this green one, and that's on your hours for the day. I need my six dice. So I'm gonna take a series of turns in which I roll all the dice, uh, apply them to actions, and then advance the hour. So in Balance a Spreadsheet, what I'm trying to do is get them onto the same spaces. If they're on the same spaces, it's balanced. And if it's balanced way over here, it's worth a dollar. If it's balanced in the center, it's worth $5. And it starts to go down over there. Um, so I'm trying to get it balanced. It pays $3 at the end of the day. And then $1 to $5 if it's balanced at the end of the day. So it's a little bit of a bonus. Okay. So here's how it works. I'm going to start. I roll all six dice. I'm going to apply them to the six different uh, um, uses right here. Now, I'll go through each one of them real quick. And uh, there are two extra uh, workflow abilities that you can always use. So six means my boss checks in. I can't use workflow abilities. Um, that means I can't, oops, I can't modify these dice uh, in any way, I'm, I'm kind of stuck with them. Uh, five, move either cube in any direction. So this one towards the center, this one towards the center. If they were here, I can move away from the center. Move the yellow cube towards the center. Move the purple cube towards the center. Move either cube away, and then move both cubes away. So I got these two sixes, I'm stuck with it. I can't use my workflow abilities. Workflow abilities are uh, take any die, and remove it from the pool to re-roll a different die. The second workflow ability is take any two dice, remove them from the pool, and then change any die to any value. So there, you can always use them in any job. Can't use them now because the boss is here. Okay, uh, doubles or more, it's a meeting. Take the matching set of dice and re-roll them until that matching set does not have any matches. So we have a meeting. Uh, because of this, uh, these might not uh, might not count towards the boss anymore. So take the matching set of dice and re-roll them. So these two just can't match uh, each other. They don't match each other. Perfect. I still have a dumb boss though. These two have to roll them until this set doesn't match. They don't match each other. I'm still stuck with this. 
while it's checking in. And here's what I've got. Okay, here's my workflow abilities. So I got a five. Move either cube in any direction. Uh, I've got a four. Move the yellow cube towards the center. Move the purple cube towards. Move both cubes away from the center. I'm going to start by moving both cubes away from the center. Done. They can't go any further. Uh, I'm going to move the yellow and the purple towards the center. And then move uh, the five is either cube in, in either direction. I'll move the yellow forward. Okay, that's the end of my first hour of work. I move it to the second hour and I'm going to uh, start all over again and try to balance these spreadsheets. So the one quick thing to mention is, so kind of off camera, these three bonuses that I have, which are luck, which I can reroll, brain power, which I can uh, up or down a die, and creativity, I can swap the die with this and then knock this down by one. I can use them during work. Uh, it's a great idea usually to mess with these things and help you know make more money, prevent that boss from coming stop the meeting, things like that. Uh, the meeting is just, just annoying. It doesn't even do anything. So here we go. Roll all six. Okay. Doubles or more, triples. So I have to re-roll these, which might get rid of the boss. They did. And then I've got these two there. All right. So you only uh, do that on the initial roll. I don't have to now re-roll these until they don't match. Um, it's just the, that initial roll. The meeting just slows you down. So I've got a one, a two, a five, and three fours. Uh, five, me move either cube in any direction. I'm going to move the purple cube this way. Move the yellow cube towards the center. I've got three of them. One, two, and because I'm at the center, it can't move, so that's three. Move either cube away from the center. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move the yellow cube away and then move it back towards the center as my third or four. And then for my one, move both cubes away from the center. So there we go. Our spreadsheet is not balanced. Move on to the next turn. Like I said, this is the worst job of all time. I hate this job. Oh, I can use my workflow abilities if the, if the boss isn't there. And I'm, I probably should because I've gotten, I have five fives here. Oh, I'm going to, the meeting, I have to re-roll them until there are, until the matching set does not have any matches. So there's threes and fives. Now this goes out. Ones, I'm going to re-roll them. Okay, then this matching set, fives, bang. So boss is checking in twice. Can't use my workflow abilities. I don't get anything out of that. I've got one, five, four, and three. Uh, move either cube in either, in either direction. Done. Move the yellow cube towards the center. Done. Move the purple cube towards the center. Done. Move both cubes away from the center. Now, away from the center, bam, puts them on the same one. Because away from center can go in either direction. My spreadsheet is balanced, but I still have to keep this balanced for the rest of the day. Because at the end of the day, is all that matters. Here we go. Did I do this? Did I forget to move my thing? Um... Uh... One, two, three. Sure, I think that's where we're at. And I don't know if that was that, and I just bumped it, but whatever. Uh, doubles, I need to roll until there's no doubles. Doubles, I need to roll until there's no doubles. All right, boss is checking in. Can't use workflow abilities. I've got two fives, which is going to move the yellow cube towards the center twice. I've got a four, which is move, I'm sorry, either cube in any other direction. Yellow cube towards the center, either cube away. So if I move yellow to the center, which is the four, either cube away, which is that, and then either cube in any direction with these two, 
I've got my spreadsheet balanced at the best it can be. Move on to the next term. This ain't gonna stay. Let's see if I can get it to stay. Two, four, four. Okay, so these are the only two that I have to reroll. If I don't get any sixes, ugh. I'm gonna change that six. That was a, I'm gonna change that six with my brain power die. I'm gonna knock it down by one and change it to, if I can go up or down by one. So I'm gonna make it a five. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to use my workflow abilities. These ones and twos where you move things away from the center uh, can be problematic. Uh, they can help you when you're going back and forth. But uh, let's see, I, now I can at least use my workflow abilities if I want to. Uh, fives, either cube in either direction. I'm gonna start with this one. Move the purple cube towards the center. Um, sure, it's there. That die, I'm not even gonna use that one. Both cubes away from the center twice. So I'm gonna get rid of this one and it allows me to re-roll a different one. And I'm gonna re-roll that useless three. It's a five. Okay. Um, and if I would have rolled a six, at any point that happens, I can't use workflow abilities for the rest of the turn. So I've got these three fives, either cube in either direction, both cubes away, either cube away. So both away, which is the one, both in any direction, bam, bam, one away, and then one in any direction. I am still balanced. Next turn. Okay, the only ones that need to re-roll because of the meeting are these two ones. They're not a match anymore. So, boss checks in, I can't use my workflow abilities. See if I can keep this up. Um, purple cube towards the center, it's there. Purple cube towards the center, it's there. Either cube away from the center is going to be yellow. Moves the yellow cube towards the center, bam. And then I have to either cube in any direction. So I'll go off of there. But it actually would have been better if I used the three to move it off of there and then use that to move it back. So I'm still balanced. Next one. Let's see if I get messed up. All right, we gotta roll all these again. Roll these again. Boss checks in, can't do crap. Um, I've got either cube away from the center. Lots of stuff's moving away. Yellow's coming back. And then anything in any direction, so. Either cube away from the center, done. Yellow cube towards the center, done. Either cube away, done. Either cube in any direction, back, and then either cube away, I'll just go with yellow. So I am not balanced. And I don't know if I bumped that or if it's my last turn or not, but this is my last turn. We're gonna say it is. I think I can't. I might have thought I'd been one away, but we'll see. Boss checks in, darn. I'm not getting this balanced. Okay. I have, I can't do my workflow abilities. I have to spend two things to get rid of these, which is gonna get me $5 if I can get it right. So let's see if I can get rid of them. Let's just see what's gonna happen. Move yellow towards the center, both away, both away, purple towards. That's painful. So here's what I'm gonna do. Spend my brain power twice. Or no, spend brain power once to make one of these into a five, which gives me complete flexibility. And spend luck to re-roll any die, which will be this one. 
Oh, I got a six. I'm spreading the brain power to make that into a five. Bam. So here's where this gets really interesting. These two let me move in any direction. These two make me move uh, away, both away. Yellow cube towards, purple cube towards. So I move both away. What I also can do is where I'm going to do it right now, actually, because this is amazing. Take two dice with your workflow ability. You get rid of them, and you can take any other die and make it whatever you want. So here's where I can shape this into what I wanted by using my luck and brain power, getting rid of that dumb boss and everything else. Uh, and by getting rid of these two dice, I get rid of two things that are really going to hurt me, um, and it allows me to do this. So here I go. Um, I am going to... This will give me one there. This gives me purple towards. So I can take this one and make it into a five, which means yellow towards the center. Oh, shoot. I'm not going to make it into a five. I'm going to make it into a two, a one, which is... Uh, both cubes away from the center. So, yellow towards the center. Oh, sorry, that was the four. Either cube in any direction. Either cube in any direction. And both cubes away from the center. I end my day with a $3 bonus and my $3 pay, which gets me $6. Um, usually days, you know, you might end with three. Uh, it's, it's not easy to balance them. It requires a lot of your daily, um, bonuses and things like that. So it's time to write this onto my sheet, which is I worked, I worked, I struggled, I got a $3 bonus. So I've got money. Three plus three is six. I got six dollars. Now, end of my turn, like all turns, I do my, uh, my I check my energy and my mood. My energy is if a row or column fills, which it didn't. But my mood, how does my mood go? I think I, I'm pretty good. I can go up. I'm pretty happy with the way my workday panned out. Although. My, my job stinks, but a bonus is good. So I got my bonus. Done. Next turn. This is filling up quick. The game ends when either this fills up, this fills up, or these all go down to, to, uh, to ones, I believe. So here we go. What's my next turn going to be? I worked. Um, I'm going to go try to make build some resources because resources are needed to do a bunch of things. I'm going to take my resource card. I'm going to put it right here so we have it. I'm going to show you how the pond works. And it sinks because I've already used a lot of this stuff, which is good. Um, you know, my bonuses, I've already used a lot of them. All right, so the pond. I'm going to read it from the rules just so I don't mess it up. The pond it has a time cost, and the time cost is 1R square. So I'm going to put that R square right here, uh, and that's each time I do it. So you can do it, and when you do an R square, it can't be in a row or column that already has an R. Uh, so it means I can do it, if you do it on a diagonal, you can do six per day. Um, depends how much you feel like getting resources, it depends how much you, you want to hog up your, your sheet. Um, but I'll show you how it works. So I need three yellow cubes, and one die. The yellow cubes are used in the pond for, for a few things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the die. I'm going to place this on top of the column rolled. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, how to play. I take turns uh, trying to hook a fish or coral. In this uh, column, I can only hook one fish, two fish, or one coral. Some of them have better rewards than others. 
Then I roll the die. If the die matches the result uh, that I bet on, um, which is going to be with these, then uh, I move the cube down. Uh, for any unsuccessful bets, I remove one of my two betting cubes from the game. So uh, we're going to do this, uh, I believe it's three times. Is it three times? Or it's just until I run out of run out of my cubes. Let's see. My betting options. This is betting that the die roll will be even, odd, one or two, three or four, five or six, and then the same number, which means I call a number out like three, and then roll, and if it's the same, uh, you do that. So if, it, if it's even and I get it right, it moves down one, odd one. If it's if it's one of the numbers, one to two, three, four, five, or six, it moves down two. And then if it's the exact number, it just moves right to the bottom one, which is generally the better reward. There's the food style um, resources and then the building resources. Uh, but they can vary. There's, there's a little bit of a market where sometimes these are better. So here we go. I'm going to make my bets. Um, and if I am wrong on any bets, I lose the cube. So I can just start simple with one. Or I can go with two at a time. I'm gonna gamble it out and say I'm gonna get between one and two, and it's gonna be even. So I'm really hoping for for two. It's a four. At least it's even, so it goes down one. So I'm getting one fish. Um, if I stop, because you can bust. Uh, let's see. You may stop rolling and take the reward. Uh, but anyway, so this one was wrong. I lose it. So do I want to keep going for two fish? Or do I, or a coral, or do I want to stop? I'm gonna stick on even and hope I can get two fish. So here I go. Even, bam, two fish. I can keep going for that coral, but I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna call it there, which means it's time to go over to my sheet. I write R for resources, and I'm gonna write went fishing. Call it fish. I update over here. I'm gonna just put number two. You could do slashes or, or number, however you want to do it. Um, and my mood is going up. I'm very happy about getting two fish because that's it's not always easy. All right, so that's the end of uh, that turn, and now I can keep doing things. I can get resources five more times without uh, hogging up a ton of stuff. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Um, and I'm gonna start by rolling a die, four. I'm gonna make my bets. I'm gonna call a number. I'm getting risky here. And go here and I'm saying two. That way if, if I'm wrong, at least it goes down by two. Whoa! Okay. It goes straight to the bottom. I get two coral. Oh, I got a market. I'm sorry. I forgot to get too excited. Put my R there uh, because it has to be in a different row or column. Went fishing. Caught two coral. I'm excited about that. My mood is up. I am at top mood. Which, for Thelma, means she's happy. I'm very happy. Uh, two coral, two fish. I'm going to keep going with the resources for today. This is fun. Six. Oh, I don't like that end one, though. I'm not betting the same number. I'm going to go with odd and five to six. At least I got an odd. I lose this cube. I'm gonna keep it on odd. I got five, so it goes down by one. I'm gonna call it and take the fish. Sorry, I'm out of order here. Resource, went fishing. Call it one fish. Uh, so I'm gonna erase and update this to three. Uh, I'm almost halfway through my sheet there. Um, I have room to do more resources, which are going to help me in future days. 
but it's going to eat up a lot of my space to move around. Um, oh, I messed up the whole thing. I gotta go back. Oh, I cheated. I can't do videos and play the game at the same time. So I'm doing resources, but I'm not even at my resource location. So I'm gonna insert this in. This is going to be turn number three. And this is four, five, six. And I need to move from here to my resource location. My movement is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I can go to seven total. As long as I can fit that crazy shape on here, which is one, two, three, four, five, and two. And I can do that. It's five. Okay. There's my shape. I have peak movement today. Walked to pond. Uh, that's a huge movement I should explore. Um, even though I'm doing this out of order. To explore, I'm gonna roll two. I'm gonna hope to get something in there. Uh, four, five, six. I need to change this by one. So if I, I had spent all my brain power, uh, that would be really cool, but I can't do it. So four, five, Right here is getting an X explored. No luck. Okay, which means my mood is going down by one. Now I'm at the pond and did my pond stuff. And I've got two more spots so I can keep doing pond stuff. I'm running out of room here though, so I can't do a lot more. So what I wanna do is, uh, can do more. I'm going to do another pond. I'm going to do it while I'm at the pond. Bam. R. It's not in either of those. Oh. Messed up one, two other things. Uh, energy went down by one. Energy went down by one. I missed my upkeep. Twice. Okay. So here we go. Uh, resources. I'm gonna roll, I'm in row two, column two. Column two kind of stinks. It's a really hard one to get anything. So my bet is going to be, I need to go down quickly. So I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna double up one down two, which is weird, but we'll see. If I get anything but a five or a six, this is fine. And there's a five, so I'm done. I still can't use my creativity. Uh, I can turn that into a six, which isn't gonna help me. My luck will allow me to reroll. Sure, I'm gonna use my luck. Bam. Three. Okay, so this moves down by two. I get rid of the one and two. Because I can make something into a six, I am going to the five or six. I'm going to roll. Oh, it was a six. That's awesome. That goes down by two. And then I want to go down one more. The thing is, I can go down one or two more. You just stop automatically. But I'll go with the safer odds and go with even and roll. It's wrong. It's a five. I'm going to use my creativity, knock it down by one, to change that five into a six, which means I get my coral. So I went fishing. Caught one coral. I'm going to add that to my coral, so I'm up to three. I am going to adjust my mood up by one because I caught something. And I did not complete a row or column. And I'm going to do my last resource for the day because I, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Put the R there. That 
it's me in column five, which is another dumb one. I have some control though, because I can replace a die roll with a five on my creativity. So, is this unethical? It's up to you. Same roll. I gotta get to the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna call a five. It's not a five. Switch it. It makes it a five. This goes down by one. Now, uh, I'm going to get two fish, which puts me at five. I have to adjust my mood. It's going down. I don't feel good about that. I'm gonna make a note. Went fishing. Caught uh, two fish. And that did not complete a row or column. I still have that one space left there, that one space left there. So I don't have to use energy. But I'm running out of space here. I can't move too far. Um, I'm running out of space. There's not a lot I can do. But I'm right next to my neighbor, so I'm going to visit my neighbor's house. So I move one, or it's, it's actually two, so it's going to be that shape, which needs to go somewhere on here. And I'm running out of spaces to not use energy, but I'm kind of late in the game, so I don't care if I use too much energy. So I'm going to go down here. Move, move. Yeah. Uh, moved to Bitsies. Now, what you do when you get to... Ah, I messed it up. I should have did this when I got here, and I didn't do it. I'm messing up everything. I can't do videos. This is why I don't do videos. Move to Bitsies. Um... And then I check to see if she's there. So, Bitsy's card. And I should have done this when I got here and every time I got there. So, mistakes galore. Bitsy. Um, I roll to see if she appears. So, five plus she appears. I got a two. She does not appear. Um, she's not home. Now, Every time that I'm in a space in Bitsy's range, which are this one, this one, this one, and that one, I'm gonna try to see if she emerges. Uh, if she emerges, then I take the orange cube and uh, place it there on top of her card to show that I've already interacted with her today, and, and that's it. So, she's not there, she's not home. So, I'm going to, you either do something or move on your turn. So I'm gonna move, moved uh, next to Bitsy's. It's gonna be here, it's gonna take two. Uh, so I'm gonna fill in these two, which is gonna fill a column, which means at the end of the turn, my energy's going down. I'm gonna roll to see if Bitsy's there, which this one I only need a three or higher. Great, bam, so Bitsy's there. So here's where you, which I can't do, um, you're gonna scan the QR code right here, and something's gonna happen with the neighbor. It's gonna pop up, and uh, they're gonna say something. So Bitsy is a little snappy, so let's just say Bitsy tells me to, she's gonna whack me with my cane. Oh, so, sorry, the first thing I'd ask you, are you friends or not friends? And even if you are friends, you have to choose not friends if your mood is below, is three or below. But my mood's high. This is my first time meeting Bitsy. I'm going to err on the side of caution and say we are friends. So uh, she introduces her. She says, hi, I'm Bitsy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the, the phrasing is much better than that. But since I can't, I'm working on my phone, recording on my phone, I can't actually click on it. Um, so she says something. So move next to Bitsy's. She says hi. How does that impact my mood? It's, it doesn't make, I don't, my mood doesn't change on that. I'm not that down that I feel like her saying hello is gonna up my mood. But um, I have the opportunity. She could offer, she could give me something, she could offer a trade, she could give me a task. Uh, but in this case, she doesn't, she just says hello. But she has this base trade that she will always do. Um, I can always give her two worms uh, for one fruit. 
and she'll give me one fruit. Neighbor's trades aren't great, but there's times where you're loaded with worms and fruit is selling for a lot of money, for example, and you might want to make that trade. Um, you might need fruit for something else. Um, so you always have that base trade. But uh, I don't want to do it because I don't have any worms. So I can't do it. So I visit her. I mark it as visited. Uh, end of turn. I completed a row. I have to do my upkeep, which this goes down to three. Um, and uh, I visited Bitsy. So the things I haven't done today is I wanted to visit all four corners and I wanted to buy something new, which with this much space on my board left, that ain't gonna happen. Um, but here's something to keep in mind, speed. You can spend one of your speed to add one to your move. So if I wanna move from here to here, it's two spaces and I've got this one space here, it's kinda useless for movement. I can move two with that, I can move two with that, knocking my speed down a little bit each turn. Um, but I'm very limited to where I can go. I can't hit all four corners. I definitely can't do that. I can't even get to the store to buy something. Um, so I'm going to go about my way. And do I want to hit that one corner? Yeah, I'm going to move up to hit that one corner. And I'm going to do it. Move. I'm going to knock this down by one because it's kind of useless right now. Um, that gets me there. So, moved, visited, another corner. Uh, that doesn't change my mood because I'm still kind of struggling to do that. Let's see what I can do. I have five free movement spaces that I could essentially do, but that's going to kill my, my speed. So, I can move two, three, three total would get me to there. Moved. Oh, that one would have knocked my energy down. My energy's going quick. Uh, moved. Two. Um, to nowhere. I'm just walking around at this point. My mood, my mood's dropping because I'm not, I'm not able to get anything done. Um, I think I just bumped that luck die. No, okay. My energy's going to drop. One thing you can do to get your energy back up uh, is you can spend a turn. You can eat. So I'll just do it just as an example. I'm loaded with fish, so I go eat, eat a fish, or eight. The fish, if we're doing past tense, it was yummy. So, my five fish is going to go down to four. You can always eat worms, fruit, or fish, or other food that you buy throughout the day. That's going to up my energy by one. Which isn't getting me anywhere. I'm essentially done. I can give up for the day. I can't do much more. I'm not going to get my goals. I'm not getting to the store to buy anything. I can't get any more resources. I've worked already. Can't go to the side moons. So that's it. I'm going to call it a day. Because the game ends when... Uh, it's... Let's see. The game ends... Uh, the game session ends... At the end of a turn where you fill in the last unfilled block on your grid, fill in the last line of your action log, reduce any of your daily stats to zero, which usually is going to be your energy, um, or when you or your mood could actually do it too, or when you choose to end your day early. Uh, the game ends immediately and you log your possessions and your end of day stats. So that's it. I'm going to call it. I'm going to end it. I'm going to log everything. So here's where you pull out your... Uh, both your uh, monthly sheet and your possession card. And I need my pen because monthly sheet is kind of permanent. How much money do I have? I got six. Worms, none. Rocks, none. None, none. Fish, I've got four. I could have had five, but I wanted to show you how to eat. Coral, I got three. Mood, my end of day mood is a 
four. So I'll just circle that one. Job. Did I go to my job? Uh, yes or no or NA because it's uh, you know a day that it's it's not required. And um, the answer is yes. I went to my job. I can see exactly how you're supposed to word it. Okay, it's just gonna be yes. And then my goals. I did one out of three. So just that like that. Uh, month of but July 2020. And that's it. That's the end of the game. I've played a game of personal space from beginning to end. Left a couple spaces here. I didn't get to maximize. I didn't maximize my um, grid as well as I could have. I reordered some stuff and screwed some stuff up because I can't teach and play at the same time. Um, but I got some stuff. I'm going in tomorrow to tomorrow with a little bit of stuff. And that's the end of my game. Uh, last thing, I guess, is personal achievements. If anything ever happens, get out that good marker, the one that writes on cards real nicely, and put it on there. Um, I could put something down there, personal achievement, is that I, uh, I gambled and got a, a two coral, uh, one without any, uh, without any additional tries and without any, uh, without any bonus modifications or anything like that. Um, but, um, I'll save that for later. Maybe I'll write that down. That's a, that's a kind of a good one. Um, first day called it and got a double coral. I'm going to put that on there. I might as well. Day one. Marker's a little thick for this. But yep, there it is. It's my day one personal achievement. Um, that's personal space. Hope uh, I didn't mess up more, but I probably did. Yeah, there we go.